Yo, what's going on guys? I'm Mike from Mobox and we're back with another video. This time I'm gonna be showing you a very, very useful set of tools if you're working within a team, especially a team of people who have mixed skill levels within After Effects. Or if you just constantly are doing a repetitive task, you're gonna get a lot of value out of this. If you don't know, I just quit my job about a month ago to do YouTube full time with the team over at Real Engineering and Real Science. If you've watched some of our last videos, you'll see that we used a lot of graphs, particularly the most recent one on batteries. There are graphs literally everywhere. I needed a way to very quickly create graphs, but also allow other team members to also produce graphs under that same style and that same guideline. So I'm gonna show you how I did that here in After Effects. Okay, so here we are in After Effects and I've got a sh very short animation the lower third just kind of animates on, and then at the end, it animates off. So I wanna make this editable by my editor. I want this to be both used in Premiere Pro, I want this to be able to be used in After Effects, and I want to allow them to make changes to this. So first thing I'm gonna to need to do, go to Composition, Responsive Design, Create Intro. And I'm just gonna drag this little blue bar back until it's like one or two keyframes ahead of that, or after those keyframes. And I'm just gonna to come to the end here, Composition, Responsive Design, Create Outro, and again, drag this back. So now the end of this and the beginning of this should be locked um, into position. Let's just double check that by creating a new composition, dragging on our tutorial layer, and you can see here that those are locked and we can shrink them and lengthen them. I do notice that there's something going on here. So I'm just going to go into my composition settings and see, and it looks like this was created a little bit after my 10 second mark. So I'm just gonna pull this into 10 seconds and change my comp back down. Um, that should then solve this. And it does. So it comes on and then it goes away or I could extend it, same thing. Perfect. Okay, so I want the editor to be able to change the color of the line um, as well as these text boxes. So I'm gonna come up here to Windows, Essential Graphics, and I'm gonna come to my master and select my tutorial. So this is currently the composition that I'm looking at. And I could select something called, uh, let's see, Solo Properties, so Solo Supported Properties, and this will bring up every single keyframe that I could link in to this essential graphics or master property function. So one thing, um, my text mask, I don't really need to do anything. My text box one, I want the source text. So I'm just gonna drag the source text up. I want the, the source text on the second one as well. So I'm gonna drag that up. Okay, so I also wanna change the color of the line. I want the person to have the ability to change the color if they choose. So I'm gonna drag the color up. And I'm just now gonna add names to this. I'm gonna name this name, position, and line color. Now, if you're creating a ton of different effects here, um, if you go under add formatting, you can either add a comment or a group, and then anything within that group will be kind of separated by a little drop down. But um, we don't need to do that, so I'm just gonna drag these out and then delete that. And from here on out, I'm pretty much good to go. I don't really need to do anything. I could save since we're here. And now when I drag it into comp two, just delete that. I should be able to see master properties under here where then to change text, you have to right click and hit edit value. And I could put my name. Uh, and I want the line to be, let's say green. Perfect. So very simple lower lower third. Um, if you're doing an interview, for example, you know you could shrink it down. You might not want it to be that long, and it's completely adjustable. Now, what if you want this to be in Premiere Pro? Um, I've done a tutorial about this already, but using the same Essential Graphics panel, you could actually export this as a Motion Graphics template and import it into Premiere Pro. I'll put a link down in the description to that tutorial if you want to follow that. There are some limitations, for example, adjustment layers, 
let's say you add a blur to an adjustment layer, those don't actually carry over through. So anything with blurring backgrounds and stuff, you'll either have to also do in Premiere Pro on a separate adjustment layer, um, or you will need to just do it in After Effects by itself. But if there's blurs in in After Effects, um, you could just toggle this, um, I always forget, I always call it, I call it continually rasterized, that's what it's called. Um, and you would just toggle that on. So I could show you what that would look like right now. So you could just make a gradient layer and create an adjustment layer with a camera lens blur on that adjustment layer and use the gradient layer as the camera lens blur um, sort of source. And you just wanna make sure you set it to source and effects or masks and effects. Um, and then that way you get like a sort of gradient blur in the corner so it's not super in your face, but you still could kind of allow the lower third to kind of stand out. Um, Basically, the point of this is just show continually rasterized. You need to make sure that's clicked or else the blur won't work. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give this video a like. Definitely check out our Patreon. We've got a ton of project files, a ton of assets over there um, for you to download for both After Effects, Cinema 4D, as well as now Blender, which we will start doing a lot more tutorials on. So I just want to let you know that we're pretty active on Instagram. So if you're not following us already, you should definitely head over to our Instagram account uh, where you could follow my progress with Blender. Anyways, thanks for watching.